us uh, that we really had to fight hard for. I don't think anybody uh, outside of this room understands uh, what we were up against uh, the entire year uh, fighting for this class, and I'm, I'm really proud of our coaches for not making any excuses, uh, for hanging in there and really bringing in a, a class that we think is, uh, is not only excellent, but it's going to be a great compliment uh, to, the, to the class that played so, so well and uh, so often for us uh, a year ago. Uh, just to give you uh, by numbers a little bit, you know, we, saw it all, we, saw, we started out uh, with uh, targeting 16 guys, which is a really low number, as you can imagine. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, some of that is uh, in part because of the, uh, the self-imposed penalties. Uh, so it was a tight number to begin with. But as you break it down, we, we, we went searching for a uh, big, big time pro style quarterback. And I think we got uh, the best, if not one of the best in the country in, in, in Kevin Olson. Uh, we, we sought out to get one wide receiver in this class. And again, that's tough when you're in South Florida and you only get one wide receiver. That means you're letting a lot of the good ones go. But we think we got the best one down here in Stacy Coley. That was a real uh, good get for us. Uh, and I'm, and I'm, I'm real excited about bringing Stacy in. He's, he's one of the more fluid wide receivers that uh, we've seen in, in a long time. Uh, we sought out to get one or two uh, running backs. Obviously, uh, we're still uncertain of Eduardo Clemens's uh, future. Uh, in terms of his uh, his injury, uh, you know, and I don't want to be premature uh, with that, uh, but you know that number was set at one, and then it might be one or two based on that. And uh, we brought in Gus Edwards. We needed a big back this year, and uh, and we think Gus uh, fulfills that at six one and three quarters and two hundred thirty pounds, and a guy that can uh, that run between the tackles. We sought out to get two tight ends in this class, and I think we got two of the best. I think we have the number one junior college tight end in the country coming in. Bo Sandland, he's here right now. Uh, six four and a half, two hundred fifty five pounds, and uh, Stanish uh, Dobar, uh, also uh, in this class from uh, Louisiana. Two big time uh, tight end prospects, and I'm real proud of uh, Coach Carroll and then Mario uh, for bringing in uh, those tight ends. We we sought out to get three offense alignment. Uh, we got uh, Alex Gall from Mower High School, uh, Hunter Knighton from uh, the Hunt School, who's going to play center or guard for us, and then really one that we're really pleased in, in uh, Sonny Adagwu. Uh, who comes to us from uh, Hargrave uh, Military. On the defensive side, we sought uh, to try to get two defensive ends, and I think we accomplished that. Uh, number one, a pass rusher on the open side, al Qadim Muhammad uh, from Don Bosco uh, Prep. We think he's one of the premier pass rushers in the country. Uh, six, three and a half, six, four, 230 pounds long, uh, rangy, uh, animated, plays with passion, uh, and, and a young man that we're excited uh, uh, to bring here. The other young man I'm equally as excited about, and, uh, and especially when I met him, Ofamba Kamala, uh, a 6'5", uh, young man, 275 pounds, who's also a defensive end a prospect, and, and we needed some with a little bit more maturity. So we went to Butler uh, Community College to get Ofamba, and I'm, and I'm grateful that we did. We wanted to get three or four uh, linebackers in this class. Obviously, uh, we missed out on a very a highly sought after young man locally. Uh, uh, but uh, we did get Jermaine Grace, uh, who uh, again was, you know, the best linebacker, one of the one of the two premier linebackers in the state of Florida, and one of the best ones down here. Uh, we also got Devontae Bond, a Sam linebacker, um, somebody I'm really excited about uh, from Sierra uh, Community College. Okay, and then uh, Alex Figueroa enrolled with us in mid-year, so uh, we got uh, three of the four needs that we needed to get there. We we sought out to get three defensive backs and. We feel we got uh, uh, two guys that uh, obviously are proving uh, defensive backs and Artie Burns who can play corner or safety and Jamal Carter. We think they are phenomenal. And we also got a guy in Ray Ray uh, Lewis who can play both corner, uh, slot, uh, wide receiver or running back. Okay, so uh, we're, we're excited about that. Uh, but there, there's no question that obviously today uh, we lost uh, our defensive uh, tackle and obviously that's something that we have to address here moving forward. So. Uh, again, I think that should give you an overview of the class so you, so you understand because you can get caught up in the numbers in terms of uh, we didn't take 23 or we didn't take, uh, you know, 28 guys or whatever the case may be. But remember, we took 32 uh, last year. Uh, we're very pleased with that group. And uh, really, out of the last two years, 30 of the 48 that we signed, uh, or 63 percent, hail from the state of Florida. So I think we're, uh, we're right on with that. So with that, I'll open up to any questions that you have, and uh, we'll go from there. Do you think you guys are done? Is there still more there might be to do? Uh, you go, you, I can't really comment on a specific Without story specifics, that's per percolating. But, uh, could there be another 
yeah. possibility. I hope I didn't turn somebody's microphone off here. I'm sorry. I, I think we're good. We all move, we're moving here. I don't want to screw anybody up. <laughs> I apologize. Do you guys share tapes if I screwed somebody up? Sure. sure. Okay. So uh, no, uh, we may we, we we may have room for one more, but that that's about it. How how concerning about the situation? Tackle. Well, I mean, it, we're, we're going to have some we're going to have some options there, you know. But uh, again, uh, it, it is what it is, you know. You want to stay in there with the with the best uh, kids in the country, and uh, sometimes you uh, you win and sometimes you lose. Again, uh, getting Gus Edwards today, Stacy Coley, and Jermaine Grace. Well, that, those are three big time football players that we got down the stretch, and uh, we're in a business where everybody focuses on the guys that you didn't get, you know. But the reality is, make sure the guys that you can get help your program. Make sure they fit in and. And uh, in this case, because we were so tight on numbers, uh, you know, I mean, again, this is this is as tight as you can be, really. Uh, to be honest with you, from a from a football standpoint, uh, we're, we're happy with the guys that we ended up getting today. And to follow up, when you add a guy like Mario, add a guy like James, lose a guy like Jed, pretty late in the process, how does that change the dynamic for you, or, or is it kind of an overstated thing? And did it really change much? Well, I think it does. I mean, I think uh, there's no question. Uh, you know, relationships uh, are formed and then uh, obviously dissolve uh, in, at different times. And uh, I, I don't think, I think that pales in comparison to uh, what we've encountered from, you know, just the, the, the sheer cloud or the presence of the word sanctions. Uh, again, I, I, you know, it's just, it, it's something that uh, hopefully we can get resolved here in the near future and move on, you know. Uh, we had one junior day already a couple of weeks a quick couple of weeks back, and uh, we have another ju junior day Saturday, and, and that's that's our third class, Tim, that we're we're having to deal with uh, an unknown. And uh, as long as we have a known, we can all deal with it. The unknown is what's killing us right now. The unknown is, is what's uh, uh, allowing us uh, to be exposed uh, to attack. Coach, five kids, five kids from the state of Florida, four from South Florida. Is that? I mean, is that the appropriate percentage? Is that, you know, what, you know, what, or would you like to have some more for? Well, clearly, I would have loved to hit on a couple more today. I don't think there's any question. But uh, again, I, it's just the way it worked out, Beast. I mean, uh, we, we needed tight ends. Uh, again, if there was, you know, 10 tight ends from down here going places, then, I'd, then I would be concerned. Uh, and I feel that way. You know, if we, we went out of state to get a quarterback, we went out of state to get offense alignment. Uh, that's, not, that's not uncommon. Uh, again, I always try to. Uh, look at different rosters and, and make sure that, that we're, we are doing things the right way. The 2001 roster was 55% state, in state, and uh, the rest was out of state, and, and we're, we're somewhere between 57 and 60% right now. So I, I'd like to you know, stay at that 60, 60 65, uh, 70%, uh, but again, you can't always, uh, you can't always predict what it's going to happen. I so to for out. you, more important was position of need rather than geography. It had to be a position of need class piece. That, that's the truth. It had to be with 16 to 17 spots. It had to all of be about need. And and uh, obviously uh, down the stretch here today, it, it, you know, we, we lost a, a couple of Florida kids, which, you know, you're not you're not going to get them all. So, uh, but I, but I really like the, the guys that we're bringing in. Uh, are you are you disappointed a little bit with some of the, the, the Miami Dade kids that you weren't able to get? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a competitor like anybody else. You know, I'm, I'm more proud of the guys that we did get. You know, Artie Burns, Jamal Carter, uh, you know, St you know, Stacy from uh, Fort Lauderdale, uh, Jermaine Grace. I think is, a, is an incredible talent. So, again, that's just the way it shakes out sometimes, Kim. So, uh, you know, it's just, uh, you know, you know, we just got to uh, move forward and, and uh, hopefully, like I said, get this NCAA thing behind us so we can so we can roll. You know, because right now we're we're fighting with one arm behind our back. Al, is there anything you could say about the situation that arose at Booker T. Washington when supposedly you guys pulled the scholarship? What's what was the story? Yeah, just there? just that. Uh, the, the only thing I'll say, and, I, and again, I don't I don't believe in in, in airing that out publicly, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, you know, again, but uh, you know, there's a difference between pulling a scholarship and having none left. And uh, you know, it's 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 just it's tough when you get to this point in in, in the year. Um, if it's any normal year, I can I can absorb. Going over one, uh, but we had a, we had a hard ceiling this year because of the self-imposed penalties, and I, I and, and I was up against it, and uh, the commitments uh, uh, that I had gotten, uh, I got a run on commitments here, uh, you know, thir whatever Wednesday, Thursday of last week, and 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 you're out, you know. So uh, 
that's that's all I can say to, say to that in terms of just making sure we're, we're on the same page is that uh, I was against a hard ceiling and I, I, I had no room. Can you say how specifically how many scholarships you self-imposed uh, Again, I'm asking, I feel like I'm in court, got a lawyer in here. I've been doing this for two and a half years. I mean, can I say, can I answer this question? No. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. You said no. Yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to answer that. I just, I just think we need to do things the right way in terms of that. So Alan, I've been disciplined with that so far. Obviously not some kids, they do the silent commit because they want to, you know, have their yep. moment in the sun. Uh, how many guys did you go into the day today sort of sweating it out and really worrying that you might not get? All of them. I mean, that's, you know, that's the game that we're, that we're playing right now. You know, uh, again, uh, we're, we're, not, we're not coming from a, a, a position of power or leverage right now because, because of the sanctions. It's, uh, if we can get that lifted, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll move forward. But, again, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really important that the communication is good. I think we have a great relationship uh, with the high school coaches in South Florida. We've got to continue to do that, continue to communicate. Uh, this is, you know, just – an anomaly in terms of, I hope it's an anomaly, because I hope we can move on from the NCAA, but Manny, it's an, it's an anomaly in, in such that this was out of my control. This wasn't like last year where we thought we were going to get 32 and we signed 33 or 31 and signed 32 or whatever the case may be. You can absorb one. I, I had no room to absorb one uh, as we went into the day today and obviously as we went into the weekend last weekend. Coach, what have we talk about your, as far as when you have, go ahead. you talk about the emotions today specifically between the time Thomas and Kirkland announced and before Coley and Jermaine announced? Well, just, you know, that's, again, that's, uh, that's like the godfather, right? It's the business we've chosen. I mean, that's, that's, that's it. I mean, it's up, it's down, it's, that's the way it is, you know, and don't worry about, and Tom O'Brien used to always tell, tell me that when I first got into business, don't worry about the ones you don't get. Make sure the ones that you do get can play and, uh, you know, match your core values and can do the things that you want to do. And, uh, you know, I, I know everybody's disappointed about the ones that we didn't get today, uh, but man, we're here, to, we're here to celebrate the Kevin Olsons and the Kwan Muhammads and the Stacey Coley's and the Jermaine Grace's. And how about this Artie Burns? Nobody talks about him because he didn't do a hat show. This guy is a superstar. This guy is a tremendous talent. Jamar Carter, okay? Uh, and I, I can go on and on. Let's, let's talk about those guys and the impact that they're going to have on Miami Hurricane football. What time did you get Gus Edwards? Later this morning? Uh, in the 7 o'clock hour. So that was a good start to the day. We needed that. How you did it, last year you signed, I think, four kids from Palm Beach, none this year. I know you were going after, obviously, a couple, but yeah. a, a, any <laughs> reason for that? Yeah, so uh, obviously we lost the one at you know in the 2 o'clock hour. Uh, again, we just didn't have many out this year. Guys, we visited 27 guys. You know, again. We had a self-imposed penalty there. We visited, we visited 27 guys. What's what's our hit ratio? I mean, that's that's an incredible hit ratio. We we, we, we weren't allowed to visit 45 guys. You know, and again, I I think maybe there was you know some in the coaching community that maybe that didn't understand the impact that these things were going to have on recruiting, and that we were this this was not in our control. Uh, that we couldn't visit all these guys and we couldn't offer. Just to say that you're going to take one wide receiver, that should that should say it all. And I'm, I'm, I think we got the best one down here, It's my opinion. So did you limit uh, self-imposed limitations on visits as well? Uh, obviously, to some degree. 